All right, guys, in this video, we're going to be showing you a really effective little man beater, zone beater out of the play Verticals Halfback Under and the Gun Bunch. You can find this play in different types of bunches. Pretty much every bunch has verts. But I want to show you a new way to run verticals that I think is really effective for the current meta, whether it be $3.2 man blitz or $3.2 zone blitz. And we'll be showing you uh, how I like to run this. Now, uh, today I'm in the Indianapolis Colts playbook. If you guys want to get my full Gun Bunch offensive ebook, make sure you join my Patreon. It's only 10 bucks to sign up. Get Get you access to literally everything all ebooks all updates to those ebooks and any new ebooks that we release in the future now today we're going to be talking about how to beat the uh db fire 2 primarily but we're also going to talk about how you can actually beat man coverage with this play as well so uh db fire 2 and then we're going to come out in the play verticals half back under in the colts gun bunch but like i said you can do this in a lot of different gun bunches all right, so what we're going to do with this play is what I like to do is actually really simple. We are simply going to slant the crosser. That's it. We're done. And what you're going to notice is that this slant is going to be a great quick read over the middle of the field for you against the zone, uh, the zone blitz. Now, I'm going to actually come back out with my bunch to the wide side of the field. I want to talk about wide side and short side with this play as well. Uh, we're going to cover that. Hash marks are super important in Madden, so you need to know and be aware of how your routes are going to work, both on the short side as well on the wide side. So what do I mean when I say wide side or short side? If you take a look here, my bunch is to the wide side of the field because the ball is placed on the left hash mark. If the ball was placed on the right hash mark, then you would notice that my bunch is going to be to the short side of the field. Now, when you run your bunch to the short side of the field, especially with this play, one of the things you're going to probably notice is that this wheel route to the tight end is going to be significantly better in the seam. It's going to get more open because of the way the grid system works and the zones work in Madden 23. So you're going to be able to hit that really, really quickly. Now, another thing this is really good against, let's say that your opponent is running the spinner blitz, really any cover zero blitz for that matter. You're going to notice that I can quick throw this little wheel to the outside against main coverage fairly consistently. Now, this is even better if we run this to the wide side for that specific coverage that you might be facing. So if you're facing more of a man coverage meta, um, then what you want to do is run this to the wide side of the field. Put that slant out there, and you're going to see now my wheel route has a ton of room to work over here on the right side. I've actually gone back to classic passing, which you guys could do that as well. Um, the reason why is because if you have set feet lead, the stock pass leads that you get with classic passing, I actually think are a little bit more consistent than freeform, and consistency is super important in Madden. All right, so why do we put the slant there instead of the crosser? Well, if you take a look here, I'm just going to go to a standard um, spinner play, and we're going to actually just go ahead and you know put some coverage on the field. And I just want you to watch. Uh, what you're going to notice here is that the crosser is going to struggle to beat man coverage. You're going to see right here, he's going to not light up, and he's not going to get really that open. If they have a route KO, um, that could be potentially bagged right there. So. All they have to really do to stop you with this play is to call cover two man. If they call cover two man, then it's actually really hard for this play to be consistent and be effective. As you can see right there, that's a really tight window. But if we slant that guy, I'm going to go to that same exact defense, and you're going to notice that we're going to have some options. One of the options that we're going to have is our slant. The other option that we're going to have is this natural pick that it's going to make for the tight end. If you have the short end elite ability, you got a fast tight end, that is going to be a fairly consistent read you can make. Again, I'm just going to go ahead and show this to you one more time. Again, typically speaking, they're going to user this guy right here. So if they're putting that linebacker and man coverage on the tight end and they're using that guy to go guard the slant, you're going to notice this pick play is super effective for beating man coverage quick. It's also really effective for beating the man blitz because if you look at the man blitz, I'm going to go to spinner real quick. You're going to notice that this guy right here is going to be the guy that's manned up in the tight end. They're probably going to have some variation of this right here um, from a you know man coverage perspective. If that's the case, then you're going to notice here that not only we have that wheel to the, that guy, we also have that slant coming open over the middle. And you could, if you wanted to, try to force um, that tight end wheel route as well. So this gives us a ton of options um, against the blitz. Now I want to go back over man blitz for just a second here. One of the things I did want to point out is they have to shade underneath to stop the wheel route. So if they're in this specific coverage and they've shaded underneath, 
Let's just say that they've actually made some pretty good adjustments, and they're going to go ahead and put this guy in this zone right here, and then they're going to have this guy over the top because they shaded underneath. So they're really only sending a three-man blitz. Um, this three-man blitz is still really effective, but I want you to notice that when they shade underneath, my tight end on this wheel route is going to be potentially an ag opportunity for me to be able to hit that. I also have the running back coming underneath, and I have the other the other routes as well. So man coverage, in my opinion, is really the best counter. Shaded underneath man um, is a good counter to this. But you have this little mesh concept in the middle of the field. So you're going to be able to hit that route to Goblin. Now, I wanted you to I also want to cover something really quick that's a very popular adjustment if your opponent is wanting to run some spinner. What they're going to do is they're going to do something like this where they do this little crisscross adjustment and then they're going to have this guy in man coverage here and potentially they're probably going to like lurk your slam. If that's the case, your running back has about 5 to 10 yards of separation without even having to snap the ball. And what you're going to notice is if they do that, you want to just dump it off to your running back right out of the backfield and be able to beat that quick man blitz really, really easily. Guys, I want to thank you for watching this video. I want to cover real quick cover four and cover three, um, but really it's actually fairly similar. You're going to notice that this slant gets super open against zone. Zone's really not good at all this year, to be quite honest with you. If, you're play if your opponent is playing a lot of zone, uh, chances are you're going to be fine anyway. But if they are playing zone, I do want to show you this real quick. You're going to notice the slant is going to suck the yellow zones inside, and then I can basically highball this in the seam. That's going to be an easy catch and run a lot of times. And then even if they're not doing that, let's say that they use her. Um, so let's say they have a really good user and they say, you know what, we're not going to let you throw that tight end. Uh, we're not going to let you throw that tight end route. So we're going to go to the tight end route. Now the whole left side of the field is going to be open for that quick slant, as you can see right there. So this play really does a good job of breaking down zones. And then the last thing I want to show you is if they, let's say that they don't, um, let's say that they don't play hard flats. You can throw this wheel route just like you would against main coverage. Just look out there, snap the ball, and throw that wheel route quick against that coverage. This play is a man and zone killer. Last but not least, if you get cover two and you do have some time in the pocket, you're going to notice that this wheel route is going to get over the top of the cover two. Right about there, just simple high ball or pass lead outside, and you're going to be able to beat the cover two. I want to thank you for watching the video. If you guys want to get all of my ebooks, make sure you join the Patreon. The link is down in the description. It's only 10 bucks to sign up. Thanks for watching. Really hope to see you guys over at the Patreon page.